The main functions of Venus are power enhancement, torque improvement, internal exhaust recirculation, reduction of emissions, reduction of fuel consumption. By adjusting camshaft timing on the inlet side, either the maximum torque or the maximum power output can be positively improved depending on the design of the cam profile. Adjustment of the inlet camshaft timing at lower and medium engine speeds is used primarily to increase engine torque and to achieve internal exhaust recirculation. At higher engine speeds, power output is the prime objective. Getting started with the first step, the Vanus off set point. This is quite an important tuning step. For me, it's the number one tuning step when you've done the swap. Uh, what you need to do is turn off the heavy throttle Vanus uh, set points completely off and do a pull and log load an RPM and then turn Vanus on completely throughout the rev range and do another pull and log load RPM. Now, you will need to graph the corresponding on off Vanos load values in a table and there it's important is to identify where the two graphs cross. This is the actual RPM set point that Vanos should be turned off. You can see it here. I did two pulls. The red one is the Vanos on line, load line, and the blue is the Vanos off. You can clearly see that from the lower to mid RPM, Vanos on definitely produces more load more torque and then there's a certain point where they cross where you want to turn Vanos off where they intersect so here in my case the optimum set point for off is at approximately 4800 rpm so this is roughly an increase of 600 rpm compared to the stock ecu setting which is somewhere here which is of course tuned for the m52 manifold airflow it actually increases this or raises the rpm limit a bit for the m50 now this depends on your setup on your cam degrees how your cams are degreed or the intake cam so in my case it was 4800 so increasing this the offset point to the higher rpm will keep vanos on longer thus more valve overlap is happening for increased torque so you don't have a dip so there's a smoother torque line and you can use load in your logs as an indicator for that so basically this is what you need to do two pulls compare load the uh, log files rpm load into a sheet and then find your set point it does take a little bit to switch the vanos off completely there is a delay it's about 200 rpms because it's on off it's a solenoid it's not immediately on or off it takes roughly 200 RPM, so you may need to move it ahead a little bit. Full switch happens when you want it to happen. When you do this modification in the tune and flash the new tune, you probably have to do another pull, preferably in a high gear, third gear, again from low RPM, and see how this torque line looks. If you still have a dip or not, and go back and see if you need to fine tune it. Move it maybe another 100 RPM back and forth. This fine adjustment can take another two or three pulls, but eventually you will have a pretty good set point. And this is a good starting point where you have, let's say, eradicated the dip you will have if you don't do it, because like I said, the stock setting is somewhere around 4,200 RPM. With the M50 manifold, you're changing the airflow characteristics. It will create a dip in load if you don't change the setting. So it will be noticeable in the car, like a torque dip, and then it will pick up again. But what you want to achieve is a smooth transition to get the torque level as steady as possible through the rev range. This is the first and most important step in my opinion. 